Hello and welcome to today's class. We are still yet um, still on first method of differentiation. Let's consider example four, right? But basically, example four will be different from what we have been doing in example one, two, and three. But number four, there we will be considering um, rational numbers, right? So let's say example four, right? Example four. Let's say I have y to be equal to 1 over x in this case in fractional form how do you find y over the x here using first principle method of differentiation the tax is quite simple what we know before now is that when it comes to first principle the keyword there is that to y had change in y and then to x had change in x that's like the key concept to note there but if i do this using first principle let's try using general method and let's see if our answer will be comparable so let's get this done please let's say i have that y is equal to 1 over x i want to solve this man using our normal first method called general method at this point at this level at this stage under this topic if you don't understand general method i would advise to go back to the first video on differentiation which is known as general method uh method general method so try to watch the video right so to, that's the basic per se that's the basic so try to watch that video understand it first before you dive into all these concepts here all right so um, i'll drop a link to our first class on differentiation called general method right in this kind of this video so try to check this video you see a link there um, let's try to solve this one using first general method per se before you use first principle. Uh, from here, we said um, in this case, um, I can I can apply our normal concept here that that says that multiply by the power and subtract from the power. In this case here, there's nothing like power here, right? So I'll try to express the question in terms of something that will be that will have a power. What's the idea there? This becomes y is equal to if i take this onto indices i should have x to power minus one in indices if i have a raised to power minus one it can be expressed as what one over a so observe i'm having one over a similarly one over x take it as what as this is applying the concept of indices so i have this now so it now becomes something i can solve using the method now so what the concept said multiply the power so of course i'm having y and x i shall have the y over the x to be equal to what's the power here minus one times everything here becomes x to the power minus one next of minus one right from the method please try to watch the video right you should know this now um minus one remains the same right times x to the power what minus two minus one minus one will give minus two for me, I will have minus 1 times, I'm having a to the power minus 1 because 1 over a. I'm having x to the minus 2 because of the 1 over what? x squared. Applying what the indices. For me, I'll have minus 1 times 1 is what? Minus 1 over what? x squared. So if I differentiate, if I differentiate y to be equal to 1, 1 over x, my dy over the x the y over the x is equal to what minus one over x squared using um general method let's now apply first principle and let's see if our answer will be comparable right so first principle there the tax quite easy we said to this y had change in y is equal to one over this is x of course had change in x as in this case next procedure is take this y to the other side I'll have this man change in y equal to 1 over x plus change in x minus this y color becomes what a minus y. At this junction, my next tag is to say that but y in the question is what? 1 over x. 1 over x. So anyway, I see y, I'll put 1 over x there. That's the meaning. For me, I'll have change in y is equal to 1 over x plus change in x minus what is y 1 over x so i have 1 
over x in mathematics per se let me just increase in brackets right um in mathematics if i have two fraction and i'm having either plus plus or minus in the center what comes to mind lcm that's the concept in mathematics if i have two fraction this way and i'm having either plus or minus um in the center what comes to mind lcm but if i have times there you don't apply lcm you break them down or you multiply them but for this case where i have minus what comes to mind lcm so i look for my own words l uh, applying lcm concept uh, for me i'll have that change in y is equal to if i have observed that what's my lcm let me ask you what's my lcm here take a little bit and take a little bit and think what do you think my lcm here will be think or be the lcm here if i may ask you in this case here my lcm is not x my lcm is not in x rather my lcm is x into x present in x so this this term here is assumed as something else x2 is under something else so if two on or if two on common term if you're looking for the lcm of two on common term the two term becomes the lcm so these two are not the same are not common so the two becomes the lcm so at first start with x first my lcm becomes start with x into what x plus change in x these two becomes your lcm let's have this first one here if this one here this one divide this one i'll be having only x left now this x here times one is of course x so i have x this is minus minus sign here similarly this x can cancel this x i'm having this one left this same value here times one times this one will give what x plus change in x mind you i i, I encase my answer in a bracket very important please don't just write um don't just write x present x this way it means something else rather encase in what in a bracket at this junction i'll have that change in y is equal to x minus times x expand the bracket minus times x of course minus x minus times plus is what minus i have change in x here so all over what next here repeat the denominator so i have x into x plus change in x so i have this all right for me if i simplify very well this man should cancel this because i have plus one minus one it's zero similarly plus x minus x is zero so i have minus x left as my value for the numerator from here i'll have that change in y is equal to minus change in x all over x into x plus change in x at this point check your previous example in our previous video after cancelling out um, an expression or an expression is being cancelled out what comes to, what comes to the next task is um to divide true between in x right so divide by change in x so i shall have change in y over change in x to be equal to minus change in x all over x into x plus change in x we said what divide both sides divided by change in x so i have this so we're dividing both sides by change in x so i have this right so let's proceed with this and let's what we get mind you don't forget that i'm after getting this answer so i'll not rub it off i'll not clean it off i'll not clean it so i'll leave it pending and mind you also we said the way over the x is same thing as what change in y over change in x that's the concept all right um from here now i'll have that i'll have these two expression change in y over change in x is equal to um this one it becomes minus change in x all over x into x plus change in x right this one here yeah? divided can be can, can convert what times 
I'll convert the vision to times. So there's an invisible one here, right? This one comes up best. All over, this one comes down. In fraction, to change division to times is easy. This division becomes times here. Just do a swapping, right? A reciprocal concept, just swap it. This down here comes up first. This up one comes down. Then you apply your times concept. From here, this we cancel this by mathematical approach. From here, I'll have that. Hold on, guys, a little bit. Let me tell you what you need to know. Actually, I'm running a membership program, right, which can help you a lot. So, to join my channel membership, it's quite easy tax, right? As you can see, the um, icon I'm showing you here, that icon is uh, my membership opportunities, which you can access monthly. So, I'll drop the link to the membership in the description of this video, right? So, just click there, click on the membership link, so you, and you purchase um, the one you want. So, I have for jam and YA classes and also i have for 100 level students so whichever one suits you click there and subscribe if it, sorry perhaps, perhaps click there and purchase um the one of a choice anyone you purchase there are several advantage video that i will not allow people to see so for it's for only those who have joined the channel that will have access to those even advanced problems and also i do help students from different countries to solve their assignments so if you're in uk or abroad or canada or anywhere you are in the world and you want me to help you do your assignments you can simply um check me you can simply visit me on my whatsapp number or also share this video i'll drop a link to a website there in the website you can register with us and um you let us know which assignment you want you want um you want us to help you to do do where to join the channel thank you you can proceed with your learning now change in y over chain x now is equal to minus one right there'll be one year left all over x into x plus change in x times this is one over one of course that will give one over one because if this that divide this there'll be one year one year so multiply this through, I'll have change in y over change in x is equal to minus 1 times 1 is of course minus 1 all over what? x into x plus change in x. And we said initially from our previous classes on first principle method, in our previous examples, we said after dividing through by change in x, and you are still left with the change in x, take the limit of that in x to be 0. So I'm saying that take change in x to be what zero what do i have change in y over change in x is equal to minus one all over what x into x plus this is becomes zero mind you uh my answer that i'm trying to get is given as let me let it here the answer is minus one over x squared that's my plan right so i'm just a bit of for, for, for um space sake uh, if i put x at zero here what do i have left therefore change in y between x is equal to minus one all over x observe x uh observe that i have a bracket here is there is nothing because what a bracket x this way right a bracket x and we know that this means s times x of course s times l give us x squared so saves time just put x squared so observe that the answer i had when i solved one over x using first principle becomes what minus one over x squared similarly when i use first principle i have minus one over x squared as you can see in front of you this has solved a problem using the rational um, variables right as you can see how we solve this exact problem let's do yet one more example on the first principle i'll look at several other more uh, methods called the chain rule method of differentiation 